Hi, this time we will have a quick look at two filters that uh, uh, will uh, provide you in an uh, easy way some additional information about the 3D model and uh, um, they can be extremely useful especially when you're dealing with the uh, models of real object models that have been acquired like with 3D scanning. Uh, both of the filters are in the context of the submenu quality measure and computations and they are called compute geometric and compute topological measures. The compute topological measure essentially adds, gives you some information about the, the topo topology of the 3D model, so it's related on the, how the uh, model has been triangulated and so on. So uh, when you use both of these filters, you will have the feedback in the lower part of the layer dialog. And uh, here you will read some uh, in useful information about the model and you get uh, the number of vertices, of edges and of faces and uh, you will have also other information about a kind of cleanliness of the model, uh, the complexity of the model, so the number of reference vertices, boundary edges, uh, how many connected components uh, compose the, 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 the layer and if it's two manifold, uh, how many holes and the genus. So this is a very clean model without holes, so it's nearly perfect, you get all this of this information. If you uh, apply the computer geometric measures then you will have some information about the geometry of the object so it will be related to if, it's, if it's, the model is the representation of a real object it will give you some information about the characteristics of the real object so the data start from here so you will have an idea of the boundary box size that gives you the possibility to understand the occupancy of the space of the object and then and the diagonal of the bounding box but you can also calculate automatically the volume of the mesh and the mesh surface this can be very useful in several contexts also in the um, cultural heritage if you acquire uh, a real statue uh, this data are very hard to be uh, calculated uh, in the reality and uh, they can be, be calculated in a very easy way uh, on a 3D model and the same thing uh, can be said about the body center and the center of mass. So you get some other information about also not only the um, volume and surface but also the, the kind of orientation and the, um, the distribution of the surface uh, of the of the model so that you can understand several things please bear in mind that all this data that you uh, read here are related to the um, coordinate system that was chosen for this 3d model so for example the coordinates of the center of mass are related to this origin so they can they will change uh, with respect to the the, the, the position of the model with respect to coordinate system. So you have to take this into account. So if you want to have uh, an idea of the real center of mass uh, of the object, it's maybe it's better in this case, for example, to uh, position it better with respect to the coordinate system so that you can get a more uh, realistic indication of the position of the center of mass. And also the other, some of the other data that you get from this model uh, are influenced by its position in the coordinate system so be careful with that some of the data that you can extract from both the compute uh, geometric and uh, compute topological uh, filters uh, cannot be uh, calculated uh, uh, on every kind of model uh, I'm just switching to another model this one uh, is uh, not as clean as the, the one before it has uh, quite a lot of holes and a lot of holes of uh, connected components. See, so if I launch the computer topological measures filter on this model, I get the same information about vertices, edges and faces 
and uh, also about the vertices and the number of boundary edges. In this case, I will I will know that uh, this is made by more than 100 components because there's full of small pieces which uh, are not uh, attached to the main body of the of the 3D model. And uh, I will have also some information about the, the, the presence of non-manifold parts. And uh, if, when you're dealing with uh, um, a model which uh, is not too manifold, uh, you unfortunately you cannot uh, calculate some of the things like the genus or the number of holes. So, for example, in this way, in this case, I could, uh, for example, select. I know there is one single non-manifold vertex. I select it. I re I remove it, and now if I launch again the topological measures, I should be able at least to calculate part of the things that I wasn't able to uh, calculate before. So the mesh is still more than 100 connected components, but now it's two manifolds, so I can calculate the number of holes and the genus. The genus is a uh, a measure that essentially relates the, the model to the number of uh, handles which are present in the context of the geometry. So it tells you uh, how it would be, for example, difficult to apply some kinds of uh, uh, geometric algorithm that, for example. And uh, okay, so I can, un I can get some more information about the topology of the model only if I make it too manifold. Otherwise, m some of the things can't be calculated. If I apply the compute geometric measures on this, again, since the, 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 the model is not closed, so it's full of holes, there are some of the things that cannot be calculated. For example, the mesh volume cannot be calculated because the, uh, the model is not uh, closed. Okay? So I cannot really define the concept of volume. I can calculate the surface, for example and uh, the, the barycenter, but for example, the center of mass, the inertia ten tensor, and so on, cannot be calculated if the model is not closed. So some of the information that you can get from these filters is really related to the, the kind of model you're, de you're dealing with. If you want to know, for example, the volume of this model, you have to remove all the connected components and close the holes. So, for example, you can uh, apply a Poisson reconstruction on this data, you will get something which will be closed. It won't be really exactly the same shape, uh, but you will get a very good uh, approximation and you will get a uh, very um, accurate uh, calculation of the volume, uh, surely much more accurate than the one that you could uh, get with other methods on the real object. So these two filters are quite easy to use and they could give you uh, some uh, very interesting information about the 3D models. Thank you.